Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Well, friends, as we continue to think about what we learned this past Sunday from Colossians 1 6, where Paul is speaking of the gospel and he says, which has come to you just as in all the world also, it is constantly bearing fruit and increasing, even as it has been doing in you since the day you heard of it and understood the grace of God in truth. He's speaking of the gospel here. He's continuing to fill out why he's constantly giving thanks to God for the Colossian church. And we talked on Sunday about how he shows the means by which the gospel produces fruit. By the hearing of the gospel, by understanding it, then it produces fruit. And we talked about how the Colossians are a great example of this. I want to encourage you to think about this and how it applies in your own life and how it should lead you to Thanksgiving. So today, let me encourage you to consider those who have proclaimed the gospel to you, those who have been instrumental in your life at uh, bringing the grace of God to your hearing. And I want you to specifically think back to those who the Lord used instrumentally in your salvation. Now, we know that salvation is completely a work of the Lord. So I'm not saying to give credit to man for your salvation, but the Lord used people. The, as we mentioned both the last couple of weeks, the gospel is heard and then believed, and that results in salvation. And that's what Romans 10 tells us is the impulse for why we send preachers and why we think those who bring the good news of the gospel have beautiful feet, as it says there in Romans 10. So I want you to consider this in your own life. Who did the Lord use in your life to bring the gospel to you, to bring the gospel into your hearing so that the Lord might save you through that? And spend some time today thanking the Lord for those people, thanking the Lord for those who um, repeatedly sometimes probably proclaim the gospel to you so that the Lord could make it effective in just his perfect time. Spend some time today praising the Lord for how he works through people to bring the gospel into your hearing. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.